I just submitted $300. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie, and in today's eating show, we're gonna be eating. Dun, dun, dun. It's been a long time, but I got some Korean fried chicken today, a spicy drumstick, and I got boneless wings. Also, got us some pickled radish. Guys, the reason today I really wanted to eat Korean fried chicken is because I'm finally gonna be doing the ultimate, I'm finally gonna be trying the ultimate cheese hack. For the first time in my life, I spent $20 on cheese. Yes, two of these were 10 bucks each. You guys love my cheese videos and I thought, no more mozzarella, cheap mozzarella. Let's go from some bougie Gruyere cheese. Supposedly, this makes the best cheesy, stretchy cheese. So, I'm gonna try it out today. Hopefully, nothing bad happens and I didn't waste my money. It's an experience. I really want to try it as a foodie. By the way, I, I really didn't know it was expensive when I planned this video. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to make super bougie cheese stretch. We're gonna attempt to make some super bougie cheese, the stretchiest cheese in French cuisine or any cuisine at all that I've ever seen in my life. Thanks to this Gruyere cheese that we have here. Uh, it's so expensive, so I hope that it's totally worth it. It's worth it. Cheese is always worth it. Um, yeah, so it's actually called Ali Got Ali Got recipe, and I've been seeing it recently in Lafong, and I want to do it too. Let's get started. Got some gold Yukon potatoes. Ready now, the girl. Here's my potato. potatoes are cooking we're gonna go ahead and shred our cheese I don't know I never did this before mmm that looks good okay two pounds of Gruyere cheese oh my gosh mozzarella cheese one pound will be good okay. this should be easier to yeah, it's easier to um, grate. Gruyere cheese and mozzarella cheese, freshly grated. Okay, so just poke them with the fork and if it goes through, it's ready. Okay, and then we have the 12 piece boneless wing. Oh, looks so good. I never had the wings boneless before because last time I went, they ran out. So I was like, what the heck? This is a success. I really, really want to um, do a part two, but the like, nuclear fire sauce. I saw Zach Choi do it and I was like, that is genius because I could not eat it for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna use this one. I always have water on side in case I choke. I feel like with chicken, I need to have Coke. To match the Bonchon aesthetic, I got some Coca Cola. 
It's it was chilled a bit in the freezer. I feel like this is actually a flower vase, but don't mind me. Perfect. And I have my glass straw. Cheers. So good. It's so hot today. I don't know why. I also saw this at Bonchon. It's for free. I took one. This used to be so in style when I was in high school. <laughs> Forgot what the spice tastes like, but it's pretty spicy, I think. helps with the grease especially since eating a lot of cheese today oh it smells it calls it the banchan chicken order wow this cheese really doesn't harden this is definitely going to be done again bon appetit I don't want me to taste the spice anymore because of the cheese. I like this more. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, these are my new favorite at Bonchon. I'm gonna let you guys know how long this lasts. I feel like I'll have leftovers because I have more cheese than um, chicken. I feel full already. <laughs> This cheese is amazing, guys. I want a lot of cheese this time. Okay, guys. Ready? Bone apple teeth. Your chicken flavor is actually pretty good, um, but it's not unique, you know. I literally just came to my city this year and I tried it for the first time. I like it more than um, Popeyes and KFC though. American fried chicken in general wasn't that flavorful to me. When I went to Korea, that's when I first really loved fried chicken. You guys know what chimek is? Chi is for chicken, mek is for mekju, which is beer. I recommend that combo but if you're under age stick to coke this cheese is amazing I love fondue
go to Korea and you really want to try Korean fried chicken for the first time, I recommend the one with the chicken inside of the pot. And he's literally smiling. I feel so sad for the chicken. But yeah, that's the best chicken place in my opinion. Next is Kyochen. But you can find Kyochen in LA these days. Oh, I love the boneless wings, guys, more than the drumsticks. Have you guys ever had pickled radish? I prefer kimchi, but they always serve it with chicken. Okay, these I gave 5 out of 5. I think I'm gonna post this on October 1st, which is so crazy, guys. Like, speaking of spooky season, help me choose my costume outfit this year that I would wear for my Halloween mukbang. So, who should I be? Thanos or Eleven for Halloween? Comment down below. Okay. I'm just gonna try it plain. Mmm. It's really good. My friend is spilling the tea right now. Yeah, Bonchon's flavoring is really good. But I wish it was crispier and more saucy, you know? If I'm gonna get marinated like Yang Yang chicken, I want it saucy. Two videos ago, I said I was going to take my last exam. Yes, I did graduate college, but I took this online class. And I had to do 145 hours. And I passed my exam. So thank you guys to... Thank you to those who said good luck. It really helped out. It was so scary, guys. I even prayed for the first time taking a test. Like, the first two tests, I did not pray. But I was like, God, please protect me. So what's next? Guys, I just submitted $300 to take the license exam. I'm so scared. So I'm going to try to do that before my birthday, which is October 7th. Oh, spicy. It's spicy without the cheese.
It feels like mashed potatoes now. Yeah, this cheese did last longer than um, regular mozzarella. such a good meal today i hope you guys enjoy make sure you click the like button subscribe down below if you haven't already make sure you leave any comments if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next one bye